Hi, this is Bonnie. Welcome to Bonnie Life, where life happens. This is my country yard sale haul. I don't get to get out to yard sales very often, and when I do, I have an absolute blast, um, especially where I live. I live in a very rural area, population about 5,000, and that includes the really rural areas. So, small, small town living. And the way my house is, one of these days I'll do a tour, but my upstairs is more modern, but my basement is, it's, it's like a studio apartment, and it is done like a log cabin. The walls look like a log cabin, everything, it has a, a wood-burning stove, it has, um, it's very rustic. So I'm always on the lookout for decor that will match that. And I hit the jackpot. I just don't know what I'm going to do with some of these things. So I want to show them to you. <coughs> I'm sorry. First of all, I have an affinity for jars. If you could see my desk <laughs> right now, there are jars, 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 apothecary jars everywhere I have jars for cotton balls and swabs and makeup and it's just this whole part that you can't see is all jars so one of the first things i found was an old vintage apothecary candy jar a penny candy jar and with a glass lid i don't know what i'm going to do with it right yet i'm going to probably buy some vintage candies because we do nearby in a neighboring town have a, a marble company uh, not marble like marble countertops but like they make old-fashioned marbles they also make everything old-fashioned old-fashioned candies stuff that you would think is no longer you could get a hold of me if you ever need a candy that you had as a child that you loved that is no longer manufactured and I can probably get it for you so I will probably fill that with those vintage candies next thing that I found oh by the way that was uh, 75 cents great deal um look at these old stirrups oh my goodness these they don't match i have two of them but they're different sizes and i've been i don't know exactly what i'm going to do with these yet i'm thinking i may use them as towel somehow as towel holders you know wrap a towel through it I don't know yet. Something. I, I know I could do something with it. Use it to hang fireplace tools. I don't know. I don't know, but they're so old and, and rustic and beat up and just so cool. And I got them for a dollar. A dollar each. So two dollars for that. So what am I at? Two seventy five. A bridal bit, which is I don't know how old it is. It's rusty, but I don't think it's that old. Um, but still, I thought this could be cool for a... I don't know. I have to get creative, and I'll let you know what I do. I'll take you on a tour downstairs one of these days when I'm done with all of that. Oh, gosh, I love this. Cast iron! Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, these, I don't normally buy cast iron, number one, because my stove upstairs is a glass top, ceramic top stove, you can't use cast iron, I love to cook with cast iron, so, but I do bake in cast iron, I make cobblers, I make, um, my cornbread, anything that I can make in a skillet and an oven, I use my cast iron for, and I have tons of cast iron cookware, but I couldn't pass these up, because the backs have these designs. That one has a mallard duck. This one has a bass fish on it. And they need to be cleaned with some vinegar to get rid of some rust stains. But these were five bucks a piece. And I got home and I looked it up and it's from the Lodge Wildlife Collection. And they sell used on eBay and Etsy and all around the web for about 55 bucks a piece. So, woohoo! Got a good deal on that. I could, since I already have plenty of cast iron, I could just recoup my money plus quite a bit by eBay, but posting them on eBay. But can you imagine the postage? These things are so, so heavy. 
But I may hang them on the wall downstairs, on the the log cabin wall, because that would look cool, right? Hang them by the stove, by the cast iron stove. That could be cool. I, I like it. They're vintage. They're not extremely old. They're not antique, but they are vintage, and I like them. And I got a great deal. And lastly, I would have liked these better if they were burlap, but they're not. But these are... Hopsacker by Sports Time. And these are today's version of the potato sacks for potato sack races. And my husband's family reunion is next month. It is always a fun time. We always take games. And um, it's an all day affair where we have potluck food. We eat all day. <laughs> we play all day. Um, it's a lot of fun, so I thought, well, we could have some uh, some potato bag races. And so these come, let's see, I've got orange, purple, green, blue, yellow, and red. So enough for quite a few people to play. And they're brand new, and they were three bucks. Three bucks. The tag is gone, I think. But yeah, I paid three bucks for it. So... All in all, I paid uh, $5 a piece for the pans. That's $10. And then for the sacks, it's $13, $14, $15, $16 with the bridle, and $0.75. Cents. So $16.75 for this haul. So that's it for today's haul. I'm going to have a sucker out of my candy jar and I will see you soon oh check in because I will be doing more hauls I have hauls for upstairs from thrift stores uh, also I am going to be doing wish.com hauls as soon as I get packages in I've got some in over here and I'm just letting them stack up and stack up until I'm ready to show you my haul so until next time, I will see you later. Have fun and enjoy the country life. Get away when you can. It is so great to be out of the city. I am so happy now to be living in the country in this little town. Talk to y'all later. Bye.